One of them was an absolute hippo. Oh, oh, oh. well, we just had a bite down that right hand side. It's looking good. Oh, yeah, it's absolutely nailed as well. That absolute unit has come back. Oh, you are a gnarly one. Well, welcome to another video. You join me back up on the syndicate. Got me and a bucket of bait, some pellet and some 12 mil bug boilies. Reason being, I've already done a lap of the lake, seen a few fish, and one of them was an absolute hippo. Probably one of the 40s in here, because it, yeah, it was massive compared to everything else that I saw. And uh, yeah, it was tucked up right in the margins, just down to my right. So I'm gonna go and put a little bit of bait in, see if I can get it or anything else feeding. And if we do, then we'll go and sort of lower rig in and uh, yeah, see if we can nick one out the margins. It's red hot today. So I think that is our best chance of probably picking up a fish. We'll keep our eyes on the water, see what we see. And uh, yeah, so uh, for what we're gonna do tonight. But for now, let's just try and get one on the mat and hopefully it's one of these absolute chunks. Right then, so on my walk around, I've seen a couple of fish sort of down just over this overhanging tree to my left. There was a couple out around the island um, and also this, this tree under here. I know I've done fish, kind of, I haven't heard of anyone having anything from, from underneath it for quite a few years. I think it's grown up a little bit more than it was, but yeah, obviously looks pretty good for it. So plan of action then is to put a bit of 12 mil boilies, which can probably just throw in by hand. Some in the tree and some just on the outside. And then I'm also gonna see if I can spray a bit of pellet that's what I think is going to give away whether they're proper feeding. Some of the fish I have seen so far, the reason I think they might have been feeding is because there was quite a few bubbles coming up, so. Here's chaps come around and say hello. All right, mate? Oh, give me the cold shoulder now, haven't you? He's giving me the large one a minute ago from the other side of this fence, but. There he goes, a little tip, frozen water. The gift that keeps on giving Obviously until it's not frozen anymore, but it's an absolute savior on these red hot days. It's good having a chat with you, mate. Thank you. Cheers for the insight. Let's continue. Right then, next little cut out along. Got this amazing sort of tree that's fallen in, obviously, probably in some of the uh, storms we had in the winter. Yeah, it's a mega little place for the carp to sort of hide up under. So we're just going to put a scattering along there with the old 12 mil bug. He's come around quick. <laughs> Don't know how he got through the fence, but uh, fair play. You're a magician. But yeah, please don't eat all my pellet. Is that right? Right then, so when I did my walk around, there was definitely a bit of sort of colouring up and clouding going on right in the margin along here. So much so that I couldn't even see that sort of gravelly area just down there, a sort of foot out, which you probably won't be able to make out, but with the polarised on, there's a nice glowing spot just, I mean, I'm talking two foot out, but, and there was, yeah, I seen one carp sort of ghost and through here. So this is definitely a good little area. This is an area I'd be pretty hopeful that they'd um, return and we'd be able to, yeah, get a rod in, so. Just check there's nothing down there at the moment before we put a bit of bait in. That's a bit of a waiting game. It's obviously too deep for him to be able to get, or she to be able to get, so 
that's good news. So any colouring out should be from the carp, not from one of the swans. Right there, well I'm absolutely buzzing. Uh, reason being, I put a bit of bait into that last spot and uh, yeah, about 20 minutes on, that absolute unit has come back. So um, yeah, I need to rush back to the van now, get a rig sorted. We're gonna lower that in, put sprinkling more repeller over the top and uh, yeah, see if we can put it on the map, but it is huge. So uh, yeah, fingers crossed, let's get it all sorted. Calm down a little bit, get everything sorted and not fluff this chance. It's looking good. So I've got a single rod with a solid bag, the camera, a soaking wet landing net because I've just dipped it, a bit of pellet and some water for me. So if we manage to snare one, we can go back and get the uh, unhooking mat and all that shabazz. But minimal kit. Come on, let's try and convert this opportunity. I'm going to set my stuff up here. The spot's just down there. And obviously want to be really quiet and not spook anything. Right then, so you might be able to see, I don't know if you can make it out, there's a bit of bubbling going on. I'm whispering for obvious reasons, but I'm going to just try and lower this solid bag with a uh, pink two-tone bug wafter sat nicely in the middle. Let's see if we can convert this chance. Come on, I am absolutely buzzing. I don't know if I'm dripping because of the heat or because I'm so excited. Make sure it's not tangled around the tip. All set in position. There was definitely something still down there as I was lowering that bag in. A couple of swirls came up. Hopefully, I haven't spooked them and uh, blown that opportunity. But yeah, that is feeling good for a bite. Oh, I hope it's that giant that still that I've seen. Oh, come on. This could be epic.
rod's been in position for a good 45 minutes probably. Time's starting to tick on a little bit and uh, yeah, I haven't seen any further activity down there. So I'm a little bit wounded, I'm not going to lie, but I think it's time to bring the rod in. Loads of fry in the area. Just try and flick it in there. Yes, there is a bit of weed down there, but that was definitely presented all right. So I'm going to put a bit more uh, pellet in and a bit of boil in before I sort of decide what I'm going to do for the night. But yeah, definitely a bit deflated and wounded by it, but there was definitely a chance to be had. Maybe I've just missed out on it, I'm not sure. There was definitely some activity down there as I lowered, lowered that bag in, so it's just not happened, but it is what it is. So what we're gonna do for the night. Ah Ooh. never mind. Right then, well, unfortunately that opportunity did not come to anything, but at least it was uh, nice to try something a little bit different up here. I haven't really done that style of fishing um, ever, I don't think, on the syndicate. So yeah, definitely with some fish in the area. So if nothing happens tonight in the area, I've decided to drop into, maybe it's something I could drop back in onto tomorrow, especially with these red hot days that we're having. So the barrel's all loaded just there. We're gonna um, make this short push to the car park swim because I've seen a couple of fish going around the island. I think I've got the best opportunity angling it from this side. And then, yeah, like I say, if nothing happens overnight, we can always drop round and um, do a bit of stalking in the morning. So let's see what happens. And I get this kit to the swim and get even more of a sweat on. It is horrendously hot. Come on then, let's do this. lovely and cold still. Go on then. I'm not sure what to open first, either a nice cold Fanta or a nice cold cider. Oh, what I'm on about, it's an easy choice isn't it? Cheers. Oh, I can see all of that away. Right then, time for rod number one to go out. Finally. Go oh, up, me. Hey, hey, hey. It's all going to be worth it when we have that chunk.
Bosh, lovely. Lovely. All right, let's get the second one. All right, so second rod is going to be a pink pop-up. Check it's clipped up. Clutch is done up. There we go. So I'm just going to fish with the two rods. I could put one in between, sort of in the middle of the island, but I think I'm going to try like sort of less lines in the area. Might mean we've got a um, greater chance of the fish sort of staying in the area after all my leading around. I might look down this right hand margin, but um, sort of due to the trees and that to my left, it might be a little bit difficult to um, sort of cast down that way, unfortunately, but yeah, it is what it is. All right, I'll get this sorted, finally, and then we can get some bait out. Right then, just gonna knock up a little bit of bait. So, start off with, got some 12 mil bug boilies. Next up is some S7 in dumbbells. So, obviously a different flavor profile and also a different sort of shape and size. About a 50-50 mix of those. And then I've got some um, bug and also S7 pellet, which is mixed up, just makes it easier to transport. And that's what I was, that's what I was feeding earlier on into the edge. Um, it's a really good, really good small pellet, breaks down nice and quickly, especially in this warm sort of water, but leaves a lot of traction behind afterwards, got a real nice coating on the outside of it. So that's going to be the majority of the mix. But then I'm going to stick in a bit of, so this is some bug liquid food and also spod hydro syrup mixed together. And uh, yeah, just uh, only a little dose of that, don't need to go crazy with it. But that's going to have a load of pulling attraction throughout the water column. Give that a good mix together, and there we go. Time to get a bit of bait out. I'm not going to go too crazy with it because. As I think it's done one bite this week and um, fortunately that one dropped off in the weeds so yeah hasn't had done a fish on the bank all week so it's not fishing exactly uh, it's not fishing its head off should we say but uh, yeah we'll give him a little bit of grub so we're probably looking at Maybe five spots on each spot, just to get started. And then obviously, when we have something in the night, we'll top it up from there. But yeah, enough to get a bite, but nothing too crazy. Right then, so the rods are out, we've got a bit of bait out as well, but I thought I'd just touch on why I dropped in here. So I've seen loads of fish cruising around this island that I'm fishing out towards all day long. I was stalking a little bit further around the corner. I don't want to fish that area tonight because I've put a bit of bait in. I don't want to be disturbing it. Hopefully the, drift, the fish can drift back in there, especially that absolute chunk. And uh, yeah, I'll probably head back around there tomorrow if nothing happens, sort of during the night and uh, the early morning bite period. So yeah, the rods are out. I'm absolutely whacked, but um, you've got to get out. You can't catch them at home as the cheesy saying says. And uh, yeah, still getting some enjoyment from it, even though it is a sweat box, but the rods are out. Let's get a barbecue on, crack open another Thatcher's and enjoy the last few uh, sort of minutes to an hour of light.
I know I said I wasn't going to put out a third rod, but one of the weekend anglers, I think his name's Connor, lovely lad, uh, came round and told me about a bit of a spot down uh, this, this margin. So it'd be silly not to do it. It's an easy chuck, he says. Lovely, and then the plan of action is put a bit of foam on, which I don't normally do, but the reason for that is solely so that I can now run round and just bait up by hand onto the spot. So we're just gonna lock and load the rod in quickly. Sort out the rest of that later on. Loosen up the clutch, grab the bait and go on round. Right then, well unfortunately the GoPro had a five, five minutes and yeah, couldn't wait any longer. So just put a sprinkling of the uh, 12 mil bug over the top, just, I don't know, probably 15 baits, something like that, just scattered in the area. So fingers crossed that third rod might do us a bite. Oh, well man, do I feel like I've deserved this today. Woo. Well, the barbecue's on. Three rods out now, thanks to a bit of inside knowledge. So yeah, cheers Connor, appreciate the effort. And uh, yeah, still feeling pretty confident. Still some fish in the area, so it's all to play for. I'm absolutely starving, so I've got some of these uh, Tesco's finest cheddar and caramelized onion rolls to start with, followed up by some mango, coconut, lime, chicken which has been sat in my van all day in about 26 degrees of heat. So, be a good test for the cool bag. Should be all right, but yeah, all is good in the world. So, let's get eating. Lovely. levels are pretty much well and truly gone now hence a little bit of torchlight to help out but yeah thought I'd just touch base one last time before I finish off the barbecue and uh, yeah get into bed for the night gonna sleep under the stars tonight first time this year and probably the last let's be honest because um the weather's never gonna stay that nice for that long but yeah we've got three rods out we're pretty confident thanks to Connor the uh, weekend angler who's um yeah gave us a little bit of advice down to the right hand side so yeah it's a nice little area actually so fair play fair play but we're feeling pretty confident going tonight. Still heard a couple of slosh out in the area. So yeah, I think that a bite is definitely on the cards. And I'm um, just fingers crossed it's a nice big whacker and um, yeah, really make the season. But you've got to be in it to win it. So I'm going to finish off in barbecue, like I've said. Add a couple more ciders, I expect, as this, into the darkness. And fingers crossed, I'll be seeing you in the night with a big fat carp. Otherwise, I guess it'll be a uh, coffee update and a bit of a sad hue.
Right then, well, good morning, and what a glorious morning it is to wake up on the bank. Unfortunately, an uneventful night, but I did have a couple of liners on my right-hand rod, so I'm just going to introduce a little sort of scattering of the 12mm bug over the top again, this time with a catapult, and uh, yeah, just see if there is any sort of fish still in the area, and we did get cleared out overnight, at least we got some fresh bait in the area. Not going to touch the rods for a couple of hours during that, you know, key bite period in these hot weather conditions, so yeah, we'll just uh, try and introduce a little bit more bait and then get the kettle on. Oh, 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 well, we just had a bite down that right hand side. Oh. Man, am I buzzing? Introducing that little bit more bait. Oh, it's definitely got us a bite. Feels like a carp. Not doing a lot at the moment. Oh yeah, it's a carp. God, it's proper just wallowing in. Doesn't look massive, but anything is very, very welcome. Yeah, it's absolutely nailed as well. Get in there. No, oh my days. Oh my god, it's going mental now. And it knows what's happening now, doesn't it? Ooh. Come on then. No. Get in there. Oh. Well, we might have fluffed the netting on the first attempt, but uh, God, that was a bit airy. But yeah, trying to net it over these other two lines was a little bit tricky, but we got one in the net. Yes. Come on. bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. Happy days. Oh, you are a gnarly one. What a cool creature. Definitely an older fish, but that is the result of this morning's bite. After putting a scattering more of that 12 mil bug in and a match the hatch over the top so a 12 mil bug pop up on a little Ronnie rig. It went rattling off this morning. Chuffed, I'm absolutely buzzing. Just over 21 pounds, so not an absolute monster, but he's a cool one and I haven't seen him before. So yeah, very happy to catch him. All right, let's slip him back, get the rod back out, and then it's definitely time for a coffee. All right then, time to slip this fella back. days. Right then, time to get the rod back out. Just a little flick down the margin.
Ooh, lovely. Happy days. Right then, so we're a couple of hours on then from having that fish and I'm starting to see some more out towards the left hand spot. They are wedged up right under the island, so not quite in the deeper water where I am, but they're in the area and there's still a good chance, I reckon, of having another one before we've got to head off in a few hours time. So I'm tucked myself away in the shade because it's already feeling about 23, 24 degrees. It's absolutely red as, but yeah, sipping on some cold water, wedged away in the shade while watching the water. So fingers crossed we can have another one and I'll obviously keep you updated along the way. Right then, well, I might be a little bit mad here, but I decided I'm going to pack up from this swim and head back round to that stalking spot that I was doing yesterday. I've still got that chunk that I've seen in the margins in my mind, and uh, yeah, I just want to go back there. I'm going to crumb up a few boilies this time, flick it in the margins, see if we can get something going, and if there's an opportunity, then we'll flick out a couple of rods. But yeah, I've just got that chunk still in my mind, and although I'm seeing fish here out towards the island, I think I'm fishing in too deeper water to really have an opportunity now that the sun's blaring. And uh, yeah, I think that's probably my best chance of putting another one on the mat. And if it's that absolute chunk, then what a red letter session that'll be. So let's get the pack down started, get the sweat on and get round to that stalking area. see that on the GoPro but as a heron flew over there's a few fish spooked out by the island so that looks like a pretty good starting spot I'd be surprised if there's some fish down under this, this island as well but island bush that's why I've seen them on the day I arrived hmm well it's definitely fish out around that island I'm going to flick this one out towards the island. Check for overhanging trees. All good behind us. Feels nice and shallow, so. Days, spun rod out. Right, 
second rod going out. Oh, that's the one. Oh, yes, that's well worth doing again. Come on, that's got to do a bite. It's nice and shallow up there, so. And do you know what? I'm not going to put any freebies out. I'm only trying to nick a bite, not feed them, so. Yeah, just going to leave it at that, I think. Two singles, both on bug, 12 mil pop-ups out there. Right then, so we've come round into the pylon swim, flicked out two rods, both on 12 mil bug pop-ups. I'm not going to put any freebies out at all because I'm just trying to nick a bite and the rods are just lying down there on the floor. So, yeah, it's looking actually pretty light for a bite, I reckon. Um, it's pretty shallow out there, so keep an eye for the bird life and uh, try and shoo them off if I can. But yeah, feeling pretty hopeful. So, come on the carp. seen a couple of fish down in this area here and I've just been flicking in a few squeezed 15 millers and uh, yeah it's like the carp have just made a beeline for the dropping noise so you know, keep an eye on that and it might be we whip in one of those rods that's out towards the island and just flick it down there because yeah, there's definitely a few fish in this area and you seem to actually be interested in the noise of that bait trickling in so it's quite interesting, they've made a beeline straight for it, so see if any bubbling starts and then maybe flick a rod down there. Right then, well I've just flicked that bait in down to my left and uh, yeah, looks like there's a couple of fish feeding down there straight on it, so we're going to whip this rod in. It feels like it's coming lovely and clean, it's a good sign that that other rod's fishing as well. Yeah, lovely. Perfect. All right, let's see if we can flip this down there. Oh, yes. That could not have gone any better. Loosen that one right off. Proper slap line going down to that one. It'll be a bit of hook and hold that will, but that definitely looks like a good opportunity that. Come on. Then. Well, unfortunately, time's starting to slip away for me. I've got to get back to do the school run today. It's been a really enjoyable session still. A shame we haven't been able to convert one of these stalking opportunities, but to have that £21 come to a lake that I absolutely love and enjoy 24 hours on the bank is uh, what it's all about. So hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any videos going forward. We upload every Tuesday at 6 p.m. So we've got regular content coming out to you. So until next time, Get on the bank yourself, be lucky, and most of all, enjoy your fishing.